Hi Divas! I have another kit to show you. This is a, another Dreamer Design kit. It is a Dream Landscape by Alan Guiana, G-I-A-N-A, -A, and it is an 80 by 60 centimeter. So, and I'm hoping that you can see that well enough in the lights. Yeah. Okay, let's open this up. Let's see what we have. First, I pull off the outer plastic covering and widen you out so you can see everything here. It comes in a beautiful package with the instructions on the back and what comes in the kit. You get a thumbnail on the end of the box so you can tell what's in the box. And they're not always the easiest boxes to open either. All right. Let's let's open it up here. Come on. Here we go. It's called Dream Landscape by Alan Guiana. There's a 60 by 80. The dimensions. They come in this nice little bag to keep them all in in case you want to ditch the box. The box does have a handle on it in case you would like to carry it somewhere. Um, like if you're diamond painting at a friend's house, you have a carry bag. Put all this out of the bag. You normally get two packs of drills. And let me show you the kit in this beautiful fuzzy wonderful feeling bag. I have one of these hanging off of, um, when I put the clips on my light box, I hang it off of the clips in the light box and it has everything I need. It carries everything I need to kit up to have it ready for me. Inside a typical diamond art, uh, inside a typical dreamer design bag, you will find a bag of baggies to help you kit up you will find two spouted boats. You will find two diamond painting pens, one with a plastic nib on it, which is good for the Aurora Borealis drills, and the regular copper tip. You will get three multiplacers. Well, two multiplacers and a straightener, which I love. Um, a two placer which I don't normally use, and a thick four-placer, which I definitely don't use the thick ones. Just not me. You get two squishies to go on your pens. You get two pots of wax. And if you get a square kit like this one, you get a pointy tweezers to help you with a protector on it, to help you with the kit. I use the tweezers. Some are very proficient at picking up more than one square at a time. That's not me, <laughs> but I do like to use the tweezers for the places where it's a little more confettified. You get the canvas on a beautiful, uh, tied with a beautiful purple ribbon. And I'm gonna roll it the opposite way around so that it lays flat for you. Notice the canvas is a strong, canvas. No fuzz on the back. It's poured glue, so you don't have to worry about any rivers or bubbles in your paintings. I'll show you those in a second. The edges of your canvas are cut so that they will not fray and it comes on a foam roller for you <coughs> if you so choose to use that while I holding this back I'll show you that the symbols come on a strip uh, most of the time you will find them individually cut so that you can put right on the baggies or the the containers that you use the very end 
of Dreamer Design Kits have the Aurora Borealis. One, two, three. This one comes with three separate ones. Three separate colors of Aurora Borealis. And I like to fold these up to put it back in the, in the drill bag until I'm ready to kit it up. And let's see. I like to have the name of the kit sticking out the end. Dream Landscape. Let's see if that will fold. And what, the other paperwork that you get with it is the instructions on how to diamond paint in case you do not know. And on the other side it gives you an invitation to join their communities. Their Facebook and Instagram communities. Okay. <laughs> now let's take a tour of the canvas. I haven't had one from this gentleman before. Oh, wow. It's like a Cape Cod, like a summer Cape Cod. Let me show you this side of the painting. Um, the gardens at the bottom, there are geraniums at the bottom and all different kinds. It's got a little sign on the white picket fence. It's got a cabin, like a... Um, like a Cape Cod style cabin in the middle, which I'll show you a little bit more of when I show you that end of it. Here's the, the rocks, and there's a dragonfly in here, and a bird, some koi fish in the water, another dragonfly, a mallard, mallard duck. There's a little butterfly up here, a couple little butterflies in the midst of all the foliage. Definitely a summer painting. Looks like there's some hosta in the background here. Geraniums and hosta by look of the leaves. Now let's take a closer look at the, the cottage and the upper area of the painting. Hopefully you can see it up here. Now above the waterfall, I see more butterflies, big butterflies, and some branches with some flowering uh, something or others on them beautiful blue sky and clouds. You have an evergreen tree in the background and you have more butterflies or ladybugs, ladybirds on them. More deciduous trees here. And this is the roof. It looks like it's like a slate roof. I like that with a little widow's walk uh, on the top. You got more butterflies and you got a bird. I have a feeling this is one of those kits that the more you um, look at it, the more you do with it, you're going to find little surprises. It's even got uh, window boxes. A white picket fence and a window box. What more could you ask? There's a robin sitting on the fence over here. Absolute beauty of a canvas. Absolute beauty. So let me put this out so that we can... find out where the Aurora Borealis go. Let's look at the drills. I like the way Dreamer Design puts the drills together. When you find one Aurora Borealis drill, you're going to find the other ones right next to it in line. And I think this is the one that has it. There's the three colors, and I'll show you them. We'll go over them in a moment. Let me show you the rest of the drills first. All right. And you can see the teals. If you don't like the crinkles, maybe you can put me on mute, but before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm, it helps the YouTube say, oh, there are people who like this diamond painting craft. Let's recommend this person.
to others who might like diamond painting and crafty videos. That way, the benefits of diamond painting get spread around to more crafters who may be new at this. It's still a fairly new craft. It's only been on like five to seven years, five to eight years now. So there's still many more people that we can convince that diamond painting is great therapy. So please like and subscribe so this gets recommended to others. I have tips and tricks for diamond painting. I have other crafts, um, doing other crafts. I have planner community and art journaling and junk journaling and all those kind of fun things that you might like. And let's see, let me put these back in the little baggie so I'm going to take out the other one. I like when they come pre kitted up, kitted up in the envelopes. Uh-oh. We have a broken one in here somewhere. Ooh, one of the pink ones, or a broken one. Be careful. That happens sometimes. We just pour them back in the bag. And make sure it's sealed. Make sure it's sealed well. Okay, let's see the other colors. I love Dreamer Design Kits for their saturated colors. If you're into color therapy like I am, you will love it too. Again, the name of this kit is Summer, is Dream Landscape by Alan Guiana. Guiana. And look at those pinks. I bet they go in the flowers. What do you think? In the geraniums. We've seen pink geraniums before. They're probably gorgeous. Okay. Here we go. An orangey one. And browns. Greens. Blues. Every color in the rainbow here. Represented in some form or fashion. I have, um, <coughs> excuse me, grays too. I have advice on how to work on large canvases such as these and tips on how to uh, work with Aurora Borealis drills so that they come out well and, and don't, the, the, uh, the co coating does not get all stuck on your wax. Or your wax doesn't get stuck on the, the coating either one I have at least 27 tips and to look in the playlist I'll try to link it below or in the cards or wherever you do those things so that you can click on that one next okay this strip of symbols I like to fold again and try to put them back in the packet with the um, <clears throat> with the name of the with the name of the kit out let's see there we go Ta-da! now what you've been waiting for Okay, there are white Aurora Borealis drills. See that extra shine on there? And a light lavender and a green. So where are they gonna go? We will find out. The greens are a number seven and they are definitely 
in the leaves of the plants all around the bottom here. I can see it everywhere. In the bushes, in the hostas, in the trees, in the plants. It, uh, it's the, the trees in the very top too, if you can see that. Up in here. And let's see, the purples will be a purple diagonal slash. They're in the irises down here. You can see that. Are there any more than that? There aren't too many. There aren't too many. They're in the irises down here. And the whites are always a letter O, I see. And there, uh, then dragonfly. Another. There's another stray drill. They're in the dragonfly's wings, in the white clapboards of the uh, cottage, in the white picket fence here. Some in the stones and the rocks, and let's see. Yes, in the clouds at the very top. They're uh, in it as well. Very, very beautiful. I think what I would add, though, I would add some of the red or the purple. I would add Aurora Borealis in the plants here in the window boxes so that it's also red in the, um, the butterflies and the bugs that are all over the place. I would punch them up, too, because I like the, the sparkle to be shot around different places in the canvas so that your eye travels all over the canvas not in just a few select spots that's what I would do with the I would I would change that out but this is beautiful a beautiful beautiful canvas and if you um, if you click the little bell down by the subscribing thing you'll be notified as to when I come out with new videos um, new unwrappings of different kits and uh, the whip and chats, the lives, the whole works. And um, this channel, I like to feature the beautiful, the gorgeous, the um, the landscapes, the flowers, the um, the beauty, and the sacredness of life and things. I'm I'm not into big. Well, you'll, the cartoons you'll see around here are Peanuts Gang. Just That's unavoidable, if you like me. Um, some of the animals, the flora and fauna, um, they are the biggest selection of kits that I have. And uh, just, just the beautiful, the beautifulness of it all. Um, that's what I love, and that's what I will bring to you, uh, fellow diamond painters. All right. I thank you for joining me on this one. I hope to see you again soon. Bye, divas.